Okay, let's go ahead and minimize this one. And let's take a look at Fusion. Now, I downloaded Fusion and expanded it and put it in the themes directory. And when I open up the folder, this is what I see. There's Fusion Core, Fusion Starter, and Fusion Starter Lite. Now, this seems a little confusing because there's not a .info file. There's not a template.php file. It's clear that this folder is not a theme folder in itself. And if we took a look at the readme file, we'd find out that actually this folder contains three separate themes that can be installed individually. So there's instructions on how to do that. So what we would end up doing is moving one or more of these folders up one level so that it was part of the themes directory. Let's go ahead and look at how Fusion Core is structured. I'm going to go ahead and scroll down. So you see we have some folders. We have one for CSS, images, and JavaScript. And then all of the template files are in the base directory, as well as the template.php and theme settings.php files. Let's go ahead and take a look at how the CSS is structured. I'm going to expand the CSS folder and scroll down. You see we have several files that start with grid. There's several that start with grid 12 and then several that start with grid 16. This demonstrates that this particular theme is using a grid system. If you're not familiar with grid systems, you should look it up. It's an interesting idea. But there's specific styles directed at the grid and right to left grids as well. There's some rules for Internet Explorer 6, 7, and 8 for this one. There's specific styles. And then there's this style sheet down here, typography, which is a separation out of the types of fonts that are being used and the styles around the fonts. So this is something that we hadn't seen in the previous themes that we looked at. And then there are several styles related to Superfish, which is a JavaScript-based, CSS-based drop-down tool for menus. Okay, let's go ahead and collapse this. One other thing that's interesting about this file structure is that the base theme is on the same level as the sub theme. So in Zen you saw that the sub theme starter kit was inside of the base theme. In this one they're separated out. One benefit to doing this is that when a user goes to create a sub theme it's clear that it's a separate entity. Whereas with Zen it can be a little hard to figure out that you need to move that starter kit outside of the base theme or at least that that's an option when you go to structure your sub-theme.